nothing else but the blood of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I am a testimony that the blood still works. The blood still works. It worked for my fathers. It worked for my mothers. It worked for the past generation. And it's still working today. The blood, the blood, it'll never lose. Pastor, it'll never lose. It'll never lose. It'll never, 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 the writer said it reaches and it flows. So wherever you are, whether you're on the mountaintop, the blood will still reach you. And if you're in the valley, it will find you there as well. The blood still works. We thank God for his cleansing blood this morning. That's why we can say that we are the redeemed of the Lord. The Bible says that we ought to say that, right? That the redeemed of the Lord, whom he has redeemed, whom he has taken from the hands of the enemy. He has plucked us out that we might be able to stand up. And we are so thankful for his keeping grace and his tender mercies. We have just participated in the Lord's Supper. And as we have taken it, let us allow it to be a witness to our soul, to our spirit. We don't take it lightly. No. I've sat at some beautiful tables. I've eaten some great and tasty food. But there's nothing like the Lord's Supper. No. Amen. And when you sit among the saints of God, and you partake in that, there is nothing like that. Amen. And so we have partaken, we have already partaken of that. We get ready to partake of the bread of life, yes. the word of God. For Jesus said, man cannot live by bread alone, yes. but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen. And so I want to ask you to stand in this moment. We're going to turn our vessels up. Father, we ask that your bread of heaven, your manna, come and feed us now. We open our hearts and our spirit, Lord, to hear what you have to say. Come on our lane, stop by our street, come by our road, Father, and call our name. Let your word, Heavenly Father, pierce our heart that our lives are transformed by the hearing of your word. May our faith be increased. As we open our spirit, Lord, we say, speak, Lord, thy servant here. Speak, Lord, speak until we turn. Speak until we are transformed. Speak in this moment, Heavenly Father. We have worshiped in our praise. We have partaken of your body and your blood. And now, Father, we say that our appetite is open for the more. And so now, Lord, make room in us to receive your word that our souls can be satisfied, that our spirit man can be fattened. Speak, Lord. Speak in this atmosphere. Speak in this season. Speak in this time. Speak through your servant. As he comes to declare, thus said the Lord God Almighty, may your hands be upon him. May, Father, his ear be due to your lips. And as you speak, Father, allow him to echo that which you have deposited in his spirit. For we speak not of ourselves, but we speak of Christ Jesus. So fill his mouth, fill him. Fill him until there is an overflow. Let your word go forth with power by your spirit in the name of Jesus. And all God's people say, 
Amen and amen. Put your hands together and let us receive at this time no other person than our very own Dr. O.K. Walker. Fresh off from his vacation, one week now he is ready. Last week he was still on vacation. He was in the house, but he was still on vacation. Vacation is up. God bless you. Interruptions, and I will be faithful, O oh Lord, 
the bring forth your fruitful words. Thank you for what you're going to do in the midst of the lives of your people. In Jesus' name. Awesome. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. 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 Put a title on this message. It shall be entitled When God Flips the Script. Mm, glory to God. When God flips, flips, the flips the script. It is only natural to look at our life in its scope, in its scarcity, its scars, and its situations, and fully be persuaded. That how we are living yeah. is as good <coughs> as it is. No room for change that is highly formidable. No room for transition <coughs> to something powerful. But note, we did not write our life's story. The giver of life has written our life story. Can I repeat that one more time? It's only natural to look at our life in its scope, yes. its scarcity, yes. scarcity, and situations, and fully be persuaded that how we are living <laughs> is as good as it, does. Yes. As it gets. As it gets. As it gets. No room for change to something formidable. And no room for transition to something powerful. But note, we did not write our life story. The giver of life has written our life story. And through the equity of his son, we utterly believe that God has a plan yes. for our life. Yes. And it will not be stopped Come on. by the forces of evil. Come on. This plan will not be stopped by the forces of, of darkness. Come on. And our life will end in a season of victory. In our season of victory. Hell can rise and hell can roar, but the Lord's purpose mm. will prevail. Come on. Hallelujah. We may not see it or feel it mm. or right now have the capacity to believe it, but in his time, yes. our God will reveal it Come on. when God Flips the script. The script. Come on. Hallelujah. For in the spirit of all human life is an irreversible, irrevocable, and irresistible summoning to believe, to behold, to become. And to restore. Yes. And one day, somebody says one day. One, one day. day. One day it had happened already. Our present day living will be under arrest. Yeah. Come on, come on. By the operating authority come on, yes. of God's sovereignty. Mm. Locked up for a set up. And detained to our destiny. Come on. It may be masked as a trail of brokenness and tears and loss and sighs and groans and perhaps asking, Lord, why and why me? But at the trail of the brokenness is a path to the beginning of our breakthrough. Come on. When God for the sake of the servant, 
And with the text in context, we will distinguishly define what a script is. And we would agree that the script or a script is the unfolding of one's life who is hit with the dramatic scene after scene. And number two, we're going to agree that some of someone finding himself or herself in an unusual kind of struggling. In 2022, a script of our life was played out. For some, it was a script of horror. Mm. For others, a mystery. For everyone, it was a script of drama. And every life was hit in misery. Mm. Agree, saints. Agree. Do you agree, saints? Yes. Agree on this meaning. Let's agree wholeheartedly that life's script presents is where someone's obstacle must be met with a miracle. Come on, yeah. come on, yeah. say that again. Yeah. Mm. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Hallelujah. That somebody's obstacle yes. must be met with a miracle and that our script is our life story. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care how we dress up and, and virtual land, you can see what I see. The beautiful saints that came out to worship. Amen. In red and black or red and burgundy. But although they are united, sorry, black and burgundy. Amen. Amen. But if you came red and burgundy, Jesus still loves you and you're still needed in the house of the Lord today. Brother Fred is always welcome in the house of the Lord. Everybody has a nice story. Yes. Everybody has a once upon a time a threatening a happily ever after. None of us wants evil no. to be false. We all hold out for the good. For good. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yet drama and strong has a magnetic pull latching on, Come on to the children of God. But nevertheless, by the will of God, that magnet loses grip through grace uh, and loses its might through mercy. As Psalm 37, 24, 3 and 24, reminds us and aligns us that the steps right. of a good man yeah. right. are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him Come on. with his right hand. That is why it behooves us to decree and declare in 2023. New year, new beginning. Come on. New year, new season. That's right. Come on. New year, new strength. New year, new victory. New year, new beginning. <laughs> when God has for you to become, begin, behold, and bestow, cannot be undermined or underwhelmed, God will make a way Come on. where the things come be. No other way. When God flips the script, you are never, ever, forever the same again. Can somebody give God I present to you the life script of Joseph, a life of, of, of the humble to regal royal ascent. 
Little did he know that he was going to suffer much, and unbeknownst to him, he would inspire so much. Sometimes you think your life is so frail or so insignificant, but you don't know who's watching you. You don't know how you're providing for somebody. You don't know how you're giving somebody hope. All you got to do is trust the Lord with all your heart and leave that to your own understanding. Because when God sends the strength, something good, something big, something mighty will happen. Come on, yes. Yes. It will yes. happen to you. Yes. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. The book of Genesis recites a narrative of a boy impacted by dreams. Mm. That's right. In a state of subconscious, God will reveal a Futuristic placement that would take faith to believe. That's right. Can I, can I pause and ask, what is God showing you about you? Come on. What is God whispering in your ear about you? What is it that you constantly see on the TV that you can't shake that tells you that this could be you? What is there that somebody said that you can't say it better? What is it that somebody made that you can't make better? What have they constructed that you can't bring to life at a greater scale? There is something in you that you may not even know that you have. There's a capacity in you that you may not know, but it's your mark time. God will reveal it in his time. Oh, hallelujah. I submit to you, loved ones, that this was not his imagination right. or brainwave activity. This was a dream and a dream of a different kind. The kind of a deed R-E-A-F. A D R E A F. A D R E A F. Divine revelation. Mm -hmm. Exclusively after me. Mm -hmm. A divine revelation. Exclusively after me. He said, I was in church and virtual and right where you are. The divine revelation. Exclusively. After me. After me. Look into the realm of the spirit. Engineering your life. And you will witness a supernatural revealing that shows you and me. On. That we're next in line oh, for a blessing. For a blessing. Come, on. Come on. That the clock is ticking Come on. on the predictable. Mm. And we are embarking mm. on the formidable. Come on. This personal and pivotal phenomenon to come was shared from Joseph's mouth. To his family's ears. Come on. Yes. Come on. That's right. He said to them, Listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out of the field when suddenly my sheep rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed to me. <laughs> Come on. His brothers, his older brother said to him, do you intend <laughs> to reign over us? Yeah. Will you actually rule us? Mm. Boy? <laughs> <laughs> and they hated him yeah. all the more. It was just the more. They hated him already. Yes. But they hated him the more because of his dream yes. and what he has. I say this to you, loved ones. If it was just words, it would annoy them. Mm. 
but just the potential <laughs> of it coming to pass. Come into fruition. Jack them up. Mm, yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mess them up. When he told his father as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, What is this dream you have? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come down and bow down to the ground before you? Mm. Boys! <laughs> his brothers were jealous of him. Yes. Yeah. Come on. But his father. Oh, mm. So they were a good father. And some of you good fun. You know we have a good shepherd named John Walker in the come house. On, come, on, come, on, come, on. come on, come on, come on. But it's for the shepherd matter in mind. Yes. In trying to catch his bearings, Joseph, in, in, in trying to catch the bearings in what was to come, Joseph innocently shared with the ones <coughs> he thought would give him direction. Support. And support and encouragement. Mm. But all he received was hate and disdain. Oh, what does he think? Who does he think he is? Thinking he will rule us his brother's seat. Uh, can I say something to you, loved ones? Uh, can I tell you something uh, from a brother's heart, from a pastor's heart? You need to watch who you have conversations with. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on. Not everybody who sees the potential in you. It's not everybody that has your good interest at heart. Everybody oh, has Lord your back. Come on. Sometimes you think you have a bestie. A bestie is someone that sees the best in everything in you. Best I E. Best in I N E. Everything in you. And if that bestie can't bring you to a place where they say this is possible through Jesus Christ, they are not seeking your best Come interest on. at heart. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Went to them. But if there's something so grand, you can't tell certain individuals. You need to sometimes tell Jesus and tell him alone. Oh, but if he put you to this, yes. come on. Glory to God. Only Jesus alone can make it come through. Come Some on. things are too great. The circle that you're in, you understand? Sometimes God does not want you to be in that circle. And you're in that circle as a follower when God has planned for you to be a leader. Come it's about time to step up and we step out and realize what God is saying to us in this season. season. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. You need to tell to Jesus alone. On this fateful day, Joseph was sent by his fathers onto the fields to see how his brothers were doing. Now, when they saw him afar off, even before he came to him, they conspired against him. Yes. To kill him. And they said unto him, Behold, the dreamer comes. Mm. Now therefore come and let us slay him and cast him into a cistern. And we will say some evil beast has been back with him. And we shall see what will become. Of his dreams. Mm -hmm. They hated the dream and they hated the dream. But do you understand that when people hate you, they shouldn't hate you. Don't blame who's blessed. Blame the blesser. Come You're on. just blessed. It has nothing to do with you. Come on. I can't help it being who I am or where I am. It was not my ingenuity. It's not my planning. Come it's on. not my vision for it. It's the blessings of Almighty God. When Reuben, the brother, heard it, 
He delivered them out of their hands. He said, let's not kill them. There's always a one, thank God. Always and one. Romans said, shed no blood, but cast them into the pits yes. in the wilderness. And lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. Now, what, am I, what, am I, what am I saying to you? In sovereignty, there is mercy. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. We don't know what the devil planning to do in our lives. Huh? But thank God for the Holy Ghost interruption. Yes. That's what's the plan. You don't know what's coming in charge of the Lord. They did the lane and they want to charge it. Huh? But God blocks it. Thank God for the blocking power for the blessed. Come on. Yes, Glory to God. Yes, Glory sir. to God. Mm. Yes, sir. And it came to pass when Joseph was come to his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat. The coat that his father gave him. Yes. The coat that yes. brought for controversy. Yes. The coat that marked him for greatness and leadership and rulership. They stripped him of that. But how many know you can strip this coat when you can't strip the chapter? You can strip my clothes when you can't strip where I'm going. All the back of the day they sing a song, I know where I'm going, I know. I know where I'm going. I'm sure bells are ringing. Perfect people are singing. Come on. Glory yeah. to God. I know, I, know I know where I'm going. Do you know where you're going? Mm. Do you know where you're going in purpose? Do you know where you're going in destiny? Glory to God. Mm. They took him and cast him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. The brothers grabbed a hold of Joseph, stripped him of his robe. And threw him into the pits. Mm. I can imagine the height of the drop and the pains of the fall. Oh, God. I call to mind the anguish of knowing mm. that he was being set up, that he was set up and betrayed by his own flesh and blood and the cause was sharing, simply by sharing what God showed him. Yes. <coughs> Jesus. He didn't receive anything yet. Mm -hmm. God didn't do anything yet. Yeah, but it was just a threat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just a threat. <laughs> just a threat. Just people up. Just, just the potential of yeah. change. But yeah. some people, as long as they're with them, doing nothing of themselves, yeah. like, like some chickens and everything like that, looking their head down, looking and picking up scraps that whatever comes, you're fine. But when you're ready to soar up like an eagle, all of a sudden there's problems. Yeah. They want to keep it down with a crack in the bucket spirit. That they don't want you to move past the bucket. There's no room in the bucket, but you can't pass. You can't go above them. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. Success is yours. Elevation is yours. Increase is yours. Manifestation is yours. Revelation is yours. In the name of Jesus. And that's not a thing no man, no woman, no demon can do to stop the flow that God has for your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just the potential of your impending and imminent greatness can trip somebody up to trip you. Your impending greatness can stumble somebody to stumble you. Mm. By their actions, they said, he is not on our level. Mm. So not him down. Mm. Mm. My God. He's not on our level. Come on. So keep him down. down. Yes. Mm. They cast Joseph in the again. basement of the earth, leaving him there to die, not knowing that man can put you down. But when oh God flips the script, it is Jesus yeah. that will raise you up. Come on. When God flips the script, we just have to humble ourselves yeah. under the mighty hands of the Lord. And the same God will exalt you in due season. Yeah. You can't kill the tree. Amen. Come on, come on. Glory Amen. to God. Uh, mm. 
When God flips the script, it must, it will, and it shall come to pass. Come on. For thine is the kingdom. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on. Hallelujah. And his mm. is the glory. Holy Ghost. So we are saying now to the King of Lord. Eternal, invisible, yes, the yes. only God, be honor and glory forever. Yes, Lord. Come on. In the midst of being put into a pit, we still have time to worship. Come on. We Come still on. have time. Come oh Come God. On. You know, sometimes God puts you in a pit in a place where by yourself so you can have a praise dance Come and on. praise team all Come by yourself. Can you become a worship center? But so it's just you and God. Yes. Have nothing to 
that's over me. I'm just on the escalator of empowerment. I'm on the escalator of elevation. I'm on the escalator placed there by God Almighty. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When God flips the switch, sovereignty overtakes you. Yeah. Right. And moves you onward and upwards without doing a thing. Amen. How did you get here? <laughs> you weren't supposed to be here. here. <laughs> Guess what? I'm just as shocked as you are. But since I'm here, I'm going to rejoice. Since I'm here, I'm going to get used to this. Yes. I had a brained 11 English teacher. There were no blacks in the class. Mm. Every black dropped out, mm. except me. Every time I asked her to help me with the work, she wouldn't help me. She just flashed me away. I said, you're here to help me, not coming to you for help. She kept flashing me away. She only called me one time because she wanted my mother to baby muffins for the class. As if my mother's at your mouth. <laughs> But I forced her to pass me. And she thought she went to a merry way because I graduated. But you see, I graduated, but I came back as a counselor in the school. And here she is all living up with her king in the luxury waiting for the microwave. And here I came with my lunch, recognizing her. And I said, excuse me, madam. Do you remember me? <laughs> All of a sudden, the limp that she had miraculously was gone. Yeah, was gone. <laughs> the way she took off. <laughs> Not to talk. Oh God, some of the same places where you have an opposition is the places that God wants you to be. Some of the same regions and places, amen, that's blocking you. That's where God wants you to be. Come on. But you've got to be respectful when you get to that place of elevation and say, it's Madame, sir, hello, 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 good morning, good evening, because you don't fight evil for evil. You overcome evil with good. That's the same power that you have being a believer. Come on, amen. Amen. Purpose speaks of your tent by design. And we, what we were initially to be, and transition speaks of movement, change, and transformation. Movement, change, and transformation. You see, in verse 20, it says, when the Midianite merchants passed by, they took and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph yeah. <laughs> to the Emishalites. And then he was sold mm. into Egypt. What am I talking about? From the pit to the transition. Mm. The transition. 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 There's a difference between being in the basement of the floor, up there. There's a difference between a pit and PIT. A pit is a hole. But PIT is purpose in transition. Mm -hmm. The devil wants to put you in a pit. But God's using that same pit as purpose in transition. To take you from one place uh, to another. Mm -hmm. I worked for the school board, I continued working with the school board, and I worked as an usher. 
And that individual that just cannot see you anywhere else except in a soothing room. So here was the here was the director, uh, the program coordinator of the graduation, and she had to use the washroom, and there was no one else to take the mic to, to be the, the MC, and she just left it behind. There was no teacher around. So she said to her, oh, she said, oh, O'Neill, my name is Mr. Walker, O'Neill, just 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 go through this thing. I'm using the washroom and, and I'll, I'll I'll be right back. And I took the mic, I read the script, and when she heard my voice, her neck turned around and went back. <laughs> because there was an audience that was perched to hear the sound that came from me. And from that experience, I moved from the usher to the and see to where the director of, of the Peel District School Board was inquiring to find out who is that MC. Because in all my years, the superintendent, thank you. In all my years, this is the best MC I've ever heard. And I am being the first black MC in 60 years of the school's history. Come on, amen. Bless you, bless you. It was just an opposite. It wasn't supposed to be. It was a happenstance, but there's purpose. Come on, come on. If she didn't have a movement, I wouldn't have the manifestation. But all the who say something to put you to where you're supposed to be. Amen. Bless you. Little as much. And God is in it. God is in it. <laughs> for her it was tinkle tinkle, for me it was twinkle twinkle, but God will make me a star. Give up <laughs> yeah. Purpose in transition had Joseph down and from side to side, cast out and sold out. So many of us have been tossed from side to side. Come on. From parent to parent. Home. The home. Jesus. Can't give it to kill give her, and they did not care. Mm -hmm. it's a little much on my, uh, from relationship to relationship. Oh, yes. From job to job. Take heart, loved ones. Rejoice, sister and brother. These movements are just a boarding path. To get you to the ultimate destination. destination. Come yeah. on, yeah. come on. But in every elevation, there is turbulence. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. There is a violent shake. Come on, setbacks. <laughs> and suddenly attack. Mm -hmm. No matter how smooth the journey may go, or be, or how high the height. Joseph's shakeup was a false accusation of rape because he refused to lose his integrity yes. Uh, yes. with Potiphar's wife. Mm -hmm. He ended up in prison, even worse than the state of the pit. Mm -hmm. But notice, that alone should have had him killed. Come on, yes. come on. Come on. From moving from the end to this is just the beginning. Integrity has a cost. It's a price. And the cost may be imprisonment. But it's better to be convicted and innocent <coughs> than guilty. <coughs> come on. For Jesus Christ is the crowned attorney yes, sir. who will motivate, vindicate, and elevate his own. That's right. Turbulence is no match for God's deliverance. Turbulence is no match for his deliverance. Genesis 
39 verse 20 said, And Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. Look where this young man ended up. His crime made 10 years greater than 10 years. <laughs> but of all the prisons, it was in the king's prison. prison. In the king's house. Still trending the right direction. In the king's house. Come on. Sovereignty is like a street. And we're on the leash, as it were. And it's taken us where we need to go through and through. It looks like nothing's happening. But there's a direct line of wedding mm -hmm. that's just taking you where you need to be. These two acts of injustice being sold, being betrayed, are enough to break anyone's spirit. There's a, there was enough rejection of Joseph's life to cause him to snap. Have you ever felt rejected? They know that you are not wanted. They know that you don't belong. That you are insignificant. They don't want everybody to see how insignificant you are. I look at these swarms that happen. I look at these beat downs that happen. It's taunting in your face to make you feel unworthy. Trying to break down. These misfortunes could be internalized to a point where you can lose your will to fight. Come on. And your desire to press ahead, to seize what is meant for you. And imprisoned mindsets can leave you cold and jealous. With an I don't care attitude. My God. And I don't care application towards living and situation. I don't care. Whatever. I don't care. This negativity of an imprisoned mind is a breeding ground for verbalizing loss, despair, and despair. Though Joseph was locked up, God's loving kindness was free and liberating to him, even during the worst time of his life. And how do we know this? Because Genesis 39, 21 says, but the Lord was with Joseph. And God be for us. Oh, yeah. Who can be against us? But we have to believe that having integrity will pay off. We have to believe that God will not forget our labor of love. Joseph had a gift, not only to dream. But to interpret dreams, as his prison mates found out, the chief butler and chief baker were in prison. The chief butler's dream was that of life. The, tree, the chief butler, baker's dream was that of imminent death. The chief butler was freed from prison and restored to his butler duties, serving Pharaoh. Just as Joseph declared. To the same man, Joseph said, Remember me. But think on me when it's well with me. And show kindness, I pray thee, unto me. And make mention of me unto Pharaoh. 
and bring me out of this house. Nobody calls the house a prison. Get <laughs> <laughs> there long enough. You can make certain things only. <laughs> For indeed I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews. And here also have I done nothing that they shall put me into the dungeon. In other words, Joseph said, I was kind to you, so please be kind to me. Amen. Now, people are away from him the good things that you've done. People forget so For two long years, Joseph stayed locked up in prison as the butler didn't remember to tell Pharaoh about him. But there was a ruler in the prison greater than the ruler outside. While it appeared that Joseph's life was at a standstill, this young man had a righteous king upon the throne of his thoughts. And that domain was open to any response. So you're waiting for the change to come. But you need to embrace the messianic mindset that they that wait upon the Lord shall be strength. They shall mount. With glory. Hallelujah. As a hand Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, join the dungeon right now. But get ready to mount. Glory to God. Get ready to extend. Get ready to mock the enemy. Get ready to come on. Get ready to dust some things up. Because things are are, are, are dust, dusty, and and, and dormant. Sometimes it's bad there. It made the mold there. But in the midst of the mold, there is mercy. In the midst of the mold, that's our mindset. That God has not forgotten us. And we're just where God. God. Amen. Mm. Hey. Mm. The time would come when Joseph would bust prison doors open and palace doors would be open to him. Why? Because Proverbs 18 verse 16 says, A man's gift makes room for him Glory and bringeth him before the Amen. You may have been held back for so long that you lost yourself. You may have forgotten who you are mm. and what you have on the inside. Because you are scarred by the pit and the prison experience. I want to say, Lord, it's through those means you've been given entry to the palace. Mm. And once you reach the palace, there's no turning back. Come on. Amen. The palace is your place of fulfillment, prosperity, and status. It's the place you cannot reach without consent of the king. Come on. <laughs> someone or something placed you in a pit. Something or someone put you in prison and stand still in the night. But only the king. Come on. Can give you the life you Amen. felt within Amen. your spirit Amen. and deep within your subconscious that you were meant to live. Come on. Mm. One decisive day, trouble reads the king's house. Yeah. <laughs> the king's spirit was troubled, tormented by dreams. <laughs> Dreams were a way God would reveal himself. And things that would come to pass, good or bad. Mm. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, called his wise men. For in an interpretation of dreams. But they all failed. Little did Pharaoh know that the solution to his problem was in the village. Yeah. Yeah. 
A time when what we need is so close, yet so far. Some people will never know the value of people and how capable they are. Something moved inside the mind of the butler, and he remembered Joseph. Full blown, he remembered his kindness and the accuracy of his gift. More importantly, the Father remembers the king. Yeah. That Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself yeah. and shaved his ring. Some of you are yeah. in a wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> but God's going to give you a miracle. Because when God makes you over, he puts you in a place of providence. Oh, don't, don't worry about who didn't, who didn't come back to you with references. Don't worry about who didn't allow those jobs to happen. When God, amen, puts you in the right place, in the right season, and they hear you open your mouth. Come on. They don't need to check reference. Come on. They don't know. You'll be hired right on the spot. Because that spot is a time of destiny. That spot is a time of sovereignty. That spot is when God will release himself in your life. Come on. Bless you, bless you. Amen. 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 All things are passed away. Joseph entered the palace and simultaneously entered his destiny. A golden opportunity not. And yet again, preparation opened. Why aren't some of us where we're supposed to be? We're not prepared for God to do what he wants to do. Why does that person keep going higher and higher, elevation after elevation? What are you doing? What's your work rate? When you honor God, God in turn honors you. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, Pharaoh saying, it is not in me. God shall give you an answer of peace. Joseph's articulate speech, keen listening skills, and administrative ingenuity was locked away for two years. Your gifting may be on lockdown right now, or it has been on lockdown for two, 12, even 20 years. But when it's your time to be released, it is your moment to do and become. In awe of your skill, they will ask you questions. Where have you been all this time? And in your heart of hearts, you'll say, if only you knew. If only you knew. I ask you the questions. What do you expect from God? Do you believe he can make your wildest dreams come true? Welcome to the palace. Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. Joseph was considered by his family members to be cocky. I beg to differ. Joseph knew intimately the God he served and expected big things from him. Mm -hmm. A passionate, purpose-driven Christian suffers much, but receives rewards that can only be deemed as God's faithful. The blessings of the Lord make it rich. And in the midst of the riches and the elevation, famine hit the land. And Joseph's brothers had to ask for permission to leave, to end up going to the place where Joseph was now second in command. In command to the king. And the king not recognize the 
the very same God they put into them. This man, yes, the same one that they disbanded, the same one that they wanted to kill, the same one that they conspired against. The same one that if the one good brother out of the bad brother, don't kill him. But let's just reject him. They stood right before Jesus. And when Joseph let it be known, fear gripped them. They thought just a matter of time before they would die. Before they would be killed. Because a bad minded person can only think bad minded things. <laughs> you can't think of being merciful when he has nothing to do with mercy. You can't think of kindness when he can't be kind. You can't think that way. But Joseph said, You meant it for evil. God, God meant it for evil. God meant it for good. Because what Joseph did, he was able to reveal God's plan mm. to save grain yes. for years to come. Really? That they may feast. <laughs> the goodness is that you can feast yes, on the foundation mm. that God said. You meant for evil. God made but God meant God is about to flip the script. My God. God. It took 13 years for him to reach the place of providence. But where he reached changed the course of time forever. Amen. When God flips the script, you'll never be the same yes. again. Again. Thank God. God. Bless you. Bless you. God is flipping the script. Yes, he is. 
Amen. Put your hands together for Pastor or Dr. Anita. I'm encouraged. I was taking some books and I'm not going to go over them, but uh, man, nobody orates like you do. My God, my God. Thank you so much for making yourself available for the Lord to use you and for us to be encouraged. We did ask, we did pray uh, that our cups will be, our vessels will be filled so that God can transform our lives. And indeed, we heard a transformational story. And so I trust that even as you have heard our online audience, as you have heard the words this morning, that you will make the decision to serve the Lord, to say yes to Jesus, so that your script can be flipped. Amen for greater. So we invite you to worship with us at 28 West Wind Court, Unit 7, every Sunday morning here at 11 a.m. Come worship in prayer. Worship with us in thanksgiving. And let us celebrate the Lord together. We also invite you to give to this ministry. And you can send your donations by e-transfer, Brampton Triumphant, at gmail.com. I promise you that where you're sowing your seed, that it is good ground. Amen. 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 We love, we love working in our communities and helping wherever our hands can reach. And so we invite you to come and to participate in our worship and to also participate in giving. If for any reason you need assistance in the areas of counseling, uh, the person that spoke so well this afternoon is also a registered counselor. And so we invite you to uh, give him a call, amen? Amen, give him a call uh, where possible. His number is uh, will be available just down on the screen. So we invite you in as well. If you need assistance, if you're looking for a female counselor, I am also available. So once again, thank you for worshiping with us. And we look forward to engaging with you next Sunday in worship. God bless you.